Today, Aryan and his family are heading to the forest in order to harvest wood as they begin preparation for the next winter. Despite the fact that spring is in full swing and the frigid bitter cold winter is being left behind, a similar trend emerged amongst the rest of the locals, all of whom have begun preparing for when the cold returns. To Yakutsk, firewood is as valuable as water. The harsh winter are impossible to survive without it. Irian and his family need at least 30 cubic meters to survive the next winter, but they cannot harvest that much on their own. Luckily, Irian's cousins are always glad to lend a hand, as they do every year. They drive about 8 km away from the village. However, all the snow that fell in seven months has introduced a new issue. Deep, muddy puddles that are extremely difficult and dangerous to drive around. On the mountain high in Manos, the Tokta Hata and Jiwapo. On the Bidji, the Hajamakan Kawa for another. As you may have noticed, in most Yakut villages there are no asphalt roads. This is because the goods are located in continuous permafrost. As the ground thaws unevenly, it causes damage, and roads need constant repair to keep them safe. Finally, the family has arrived at the forest and didn't get stuck, thanks to the skillful driving of Aryan's father, Kirill Petrov. Before anything else, Lyubov, Aryan's mother, looking for the oldest tree in the area and request for a blessing by feeding it with homemade Yakutian pancakes. Since every Yakut believe in the existence of spirits in animals, trees, rivers, hills and fire, they perform the ritual as a symbol of gratitude and appreciation for the spirits. Now it's time to get started. Naturally, Kirill chooses the biggest tree he can find as it provides more firewood. The trees being harvested are Siberian large wood. The durability of this wood is perfect for combating the harsh climate faced by Yakutsk. <laughs> Kirill first cut a large notch more than a halfway into the tree and then cut towards the notch from the opposite side. All the while, the boys are pushing with all their mites to bring the tree down. As Kirill removes the branches and cut the tree into more manageable logs, the boys take the logs and chop them down. A nine-year-old Aryan used all his minds when chopping the wood to keep up with his cousins.
Bumas kahin tagar garahan da kaidar kahin bir jausta ka kaidalar botong bola. Anton buma hawla na wala kong bir de kaidan kaidan. While the boys were cutting down the trees, the boy prepared a lunch for the family. The scent of the boys cooking wafted through the air, most exciting and relaxing the hungry, hard-working family. Asbusta! Asbusta! Papa! Dawai, dawai, dawai! After tirelessly chopping logs, Aryan and his cousin Valeria excitedly washed their hands and faces to refresh themselves before eating lunch. <laughs> Anutaran bu kanak bahar ulene bu kurduk ahan el beden berahni kurduk teri dakna Allah ulah kurduk bol baka berahni kurduk pelar lah. Bu jawa kalam telian kehemut biden tahar jail gak baru jail gak suji al tahit tu ibu jehgar kalan alam beran jawa khas keder ni yeri yeri er der kute bicara ya. The time has come to get back to work. Well rested and refueled from a delicious lunch, the family is ready to continue working until they get all the wood they need for the coming winter. Cutting down the trees is tiresome and very time consuming, but without this wood, the family will struggle to get by comfortably during the winter. As they cut the wood down to the firewood size, it's stuck in a single rose, so the sun and wind can draw the moisture out of the cut ends. It takes around six months to dry out the wood, so doing as soon as possible is essential. If the drying process is started too late, in the autumn or winter, then the wood will not be ready to use until the following year, it will still be too moist and will not burn properly or at all. This is the main reason that wood harvesting is done so soon after the winter ends. Kundi da otlar karacılar, bizi gün kuraktı hivalnerer, ubaydır mı kırdılar gör. Kim bastık mı kayıp put, ol ki masına number. Kim bitey kayıp kayıp put, ol ki hatı var 5 kilometre. Nastar, Vinyamania, Mars. Yarik kunci tasta, balik arah hidup biasa tasta. Ceri yarik. Both of them came so close to finishing together, but in the end, Yarik proved that the older brother is still superior. It looks like Valeria has a long walk ahead of him.